Hope you are well. My name is Penny Moises and I am the founder of the Clean and Tidy Home Show and I'm delighted to be joined this morning by Laura aka Laura Cleanaholic on our Clean and Tidy tea break. So we're just waiting for her to join us so in the meantime I'd love to hear how you are. Hope you had a lovely bank holiday weekend, would love to know what you got up to um, and how your week has started. Um, so thank you to all of you for joining. A few others coming in. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, really, really hope you've had a good few days. Um, I certainly know that I'm playing a bit of a game of catch up this morning, um, but it's kind of nice to, to get back into things. Um, certainly been working through a long to do list, which I tend to do any opportunity for that kind of new fresh start, whether it's start of the year or spring cleaning. Um, even bank holidays seem to make me do it. So I um, would love to know if you feel the same. Um, lots of different habits and things that I'm planning to change again as we move into this kind of next phase of the year. Um, Laura has just joined us, so we'll just get her involved in the chat. Bear with me one moment. There we go. Keep in the, um, in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And any questions that you've got, got for Laura, please get involved. There she is. Hi, Laura. Hi, Penny. How are you? How are you? Good. good, thank you. Good. It's really, really good to see you. But I'm conscious that some of the people watching might not know who you are, but they should. Uh, so please, <laughs> you just want to do a quick um, introduce, introduction. Introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. And thank you for everyone who's joined the live. It's amazing to see you all. Um, so my name's Laura Mountford, a.k.a. Laura Cleanaholic. Um, I've been on Instagram for about four and a half years now, which is, yeah, it seems like a long time, doesn't it? But the time's gone very quickly. Um, thank you so much for inviting me on the Clean and Tidy Home Show Live. It feels strange to be having you interview me rather than me interviewing you, Penny. <laughs> Yes, because for those people who don't know, Laura actually was doing our Clean and Tidy TV on site at the show last year. So I was interviewing lots of different people and different brands. Um, so you were very much the interviewer at that point, yeah. weren't you, Laura? But did you have fun? Yeah, I absolutely loved it. It was so lovely to see like everyone in the community coming together for the very first time. Because there's never, since kind of lockdown and everything, there, there hadn't been that opportunity for you know everyone to get together so you made that happen <laughs> well we were really delighted to have you involved now tell me what what was your highlight from the weekend it was just meeting all of the other kind of clean influencers and followers really because instagram is an amazing platform isn't it where we build relationships and we built a community but having that face-to-face -face interaction is, is everything, isn't it? And we all lead such busy lives that, you know, it's really difficult to get um, meetups out of the WhatsApp group. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone's always so Thanks busy, so. aren't they? Um, but having that event once a year, it's, you know that you're going to get that chance to all get together and all, like, get time together, which is so precious. Yeah. No, it's so true. I, as an events person, I've been an events person for, for a long time and I don't think you can beat face to face. Obviously, we need other means of communication, but I love it when people come together. So, so delighted that you're going to be joining us again this year. Um, but before we dive into some more of that, I want to know a bit more about your home, Laura. Talk to me about what your home looks like. So we've lived in this house for five years now. And it was kind of the reason why I started Instagram, because... Our previous house was another renovation project. So we'd lived there for four years. It was like a really cute little cottage. Um, and we renovated that. And we literally moved two minutes up the road. Like I literally walk past our old house every day when I'm walking the dogs. Um, but this, this house was a huge renovation, is a huge renovation project. Like we've been here five years and we've not even finished downstairs. Like we've not even started upstairs. Um, but we just love the area that we live. It's a really peaceful village. And yeah, so my house is a 17th century barn conversion. So it's on a 
farm so there's like the farmhouse and then a couple of barns and like a little cottage and stuff so we're one of the barns so we're really lucky where we live and it's not too remote either um you know so i can just walk into the village and stuff like that so yeah i feel really lucky to have found a really nice place to live and i try not to take it for granted because I love being outdoors. I absolutely love, if you follow me, you know that I'm always walking the dogs. Um, and I just love being outdoors in the fresh air. But equally, I'm such a homebody. Like, I just love being in my own home. And I know that might sound really boring, but I just really like pottering about my, my, ha my house. I don't, I'm quite a simple person. I love being indoors and I love walking my dogs outdoors. Like, nothing makes me happier. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. Now tell me, are, is there a secret? What's your secret to keeping a clean and tidy home? The first thing is don't put too much pressure on yourselves. I think we all look through social media and think, oh my gosh, we're seeing all these perfect images. And I kind of think of Instagram as a bit like, if you were inviting someone round to your house, you would have a clean up, wouldn't you? And Instagram is, is kind of the same. And obviously I share the reality as well, but you know, we're sharing the highlights, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so don't, when you're like, I'm sat here now and there's laundry everywhere drying. Um, I'm hoping that it stops raining so I can get it outside. But you know, we don't live in show homes, you know, real, homes are lived in and I put on my stories yesterday mess equals memories and that really like is something that is important to me that you know we live in our, our, our homes and you know as much as I love cleaning my house is certainly not a show home um and I just hope that I can motivate others to get cleaning as well because sometimes it can be hard to to get that motivation and it can feel quite overwhelming yeah. as well can't it like we, we went camping at the weekend and I don't know why, but when you come back from even just a couple of nights away, there's loads of laundry, like the house just feels like it's upside down. And it, like yesterday I was like, I feel really overwhelmed with how much there is to do. And I just thought, right, okay, I'm, I can't do it all. I'm just going to focus on getting one thing done at a time. And, and, and that would be like the, my secret to a clean and tidy home really is, like take each step one at a time. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. And I definitely find that little and often works best for me. Like I, yeah. I really struggle to do a deep clean because it's just too overwhelming, isn't it? And I just find if you do those little cleans here and there, whether it be once a day or a couple of times a day, whatever you can do that works in with your schedule, like that is enough. Just do what you can when you can. And that is more than enough. Yeah, I completely agree. Because I think as well at the moment with everything going on with spring cleaning and, and clearing. Yeah. And absolutely there are some things that I'll get to. But I think sometimes we can build that up so much that it just seems like too big a job. And actually when I feel like that, I then don't do anything. Yeah. And I'm sure there'll be people that will, will relate. But while you were talking, Laura, there were a lot of people that were saying they've actually got some washing on now. So I'd love to know if anybody's doing their laundry as we speak. Well, I'd really love to know. Because we're going to yeah. be talking a bit more about laundry, aren't we, Laura? We <laughs> so yeah, tell us what's about laundry. to happen this week what is happening on thursday laura oh, look, it's launching. i can't actually believe it uh, it still doesn't feel real uh, at the weekend i went over to visit my mum and dad and gave them a copy of my book um and and then it, even then it was almost as if i was giving them like someone else's book it just doesn't feel real i think when I start to see it in people's houses and people sharing the tips and things like that, then it will probably feel real. Um, but I absolutely love writing, always have done. Um, so it just feels like a huge dream come true. Um, so yeah, I just feel so incredibly lucky to have had the opportunity to, to write my first book. Now tell us, why is laundry so important to you? So laundry, I just find that that is the place to start when you're feeling overwhelmed. And I don't know whether you feel the same or anyone watching this live feels the same. But I feel like when, I, when I'm like, right, I need to get my clean on. 
the first thing I do is empty that washing basket and put a wash on because you feel like you've got off to a quick start. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I always start with putting a wash on and I just love all the beautiful laundry products that are available now. Like the scents, I'm just obsessed with all the scents that there are um, and all the lovely products that we have. Um, and for me, like I know I've spoken about this before, but I know I might sound crazy, but for me, my laundry products and my cleaning products are like, I treat them like my makeup or my skincare or my hair care products. They're part of, they're part of my self care routine. Like I love having lovely scents and products that work because it actually motivates me to get the laundry done. Um, you know, you can do the sniff test with your favourite fabric conditioner or whatever and it just I don't know it just makes you feel good does that sound crazy <laughs> not at all not at all now a few people can we have another look at the book yeah so it's live laugh laundry yeah um we'll be sharing some links and things afterwards so you know exactly where to where to go yeah. um but we'd love to know a bit more about what we can expect from the book Laura so in the book there's it's packed full of loads of tips and tricks as you would expect but there's also lots of little bits about me and my family as well. Um, so there's lots of little snippets, particularly about my mum, who is the original cleanaholic. <laughs> um, she hasn't messaged me yet, actually, to say that she's, she's read it. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's lots of little snippets about kind of why I find doing the laundry useful and part of my self-care routine and for me Penny it is all about mindset and for me when I started changing my mindset around cleaning my home sorry I don't know if you can hear the dogs playing in the background <laughs> I love it <laughs> um shush <laughs> so as my mind don't start going because they can hear oh, them oh <laughs> god yeah that'd be next that would be fun so yeah, for me, so when we moved into this house, I felt so overwhelmed. You know, I, I was juggling a job and looking after a home and, and it was just constantly spinning plates. And I kind of thought, do you know what? I need to change my mindset on this and turn it from a boring chore to something that I actually enjoy doing. Because let's face it, we've all got to clean, haven't we? Um, so there's lots about changing your mindset and little reminders along the way that, you know, if you have to wait until tomorrow to get your laundry done, that's okay as well. The most important thing is you've got to keep your cup full in order to keep your home clean. Yeah. Because if you're running on empty, like you're not going to, you're not going to be any good to anyone or getting any jobs done. So that self care is so, so important. Um, and, and I even need to remind myself that a lot of the time as well. So it's just, yeah, just being, being realistic, I think. And, and what works for me might not work for you, but you can take little bits and tips and tricks and things and adapt it into your routine that's what i'm hoping anyway so yeah there's loads of um like useful information like i want it to be a book that my vision is you know you have like cookery books in the kitchen and they look you know they look cute on display don't they there's nothing really there's nothing for the laundry room or to have next to your washing machine um so yeah so hopefully you know, I think the cover's quite cute, isn't it? Quite aesthetic colours and things. So I'm hoping that people have it next to their washing machines and they can literally just grab it, like whether they've got a stain on their clothes or whether they need to wash their washing machine and give it a good clean. They can literally just grab it and, and quickly go to the information that they need because, you know, you might, might Google like how to clean your washing machine, for example. And there's like millions of responses and you kind of think, I don't even know where to start. Um, so sometimes it's good to just have, it's almost like an encyclopedia of laundry, I guess, really. But then bits about me as well at the same time, if that makes sense. I think it's so good. I think one of the reasons that I started the Clean and Tidy Home Shows because I struggled so much to know what products I should use with what, what should go where, you know, what tools should be used. Yeah. Um, and I think there is 
a lack of information, but also too much of it. And so we can get totally overwhelmed. As you say, sometimes Google is your worst enemy when you're trying to find the answer for something. Cause you're like, yeah. who do I trust? Where do I go? Which article first? Yeah. So I think that's such a clever idea and certainly something that I'm going to be using. And especially I know with a lot of the signs that you get on the laundry labels that are just so overwhelming to know what yeah. they mean. And I think even you said about you using your book as a reference yeah. because it's so hard to remember all these things. We put so much expectation on ourselves, whereas actually if there's a reference that we can just go to, I think it's such a brilliant thing. So I can't yeah. wait to read it. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much, Penny. There's a, yeah, there's like a guide, ultimate guide to the laundry symbols. Um, so yes, yeah, so you don't have to Google it or anything. You can literally, you could cut it out of the book as well and frame it, which would look quite cute, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping that it, that even if people get one tip out of it, then, then that's a good thing. Yeah, nice, no, brilliant. Now, a few people have been asking whether you're going to do a book signing, Laura. I'm not doing a book signing, Penny, no. <laughs> but what we did suggest was, Laura will be back at the Clean and Tidy Home Show on the 14th and 15th of October. So if you get a book and you want to bring it along yeah. and you want Laura to sign it, we're going to make sure that we've got some time for Laura to do that in amongst all of her busy uh, filming and interviewing. Um, Laura's going to make sure that we've got some time. So if you want your book signed, please bring it along to the Clean and Tidy Home Show and Laura would love to chat to you then. Um, but we also do have some exciting news for next week, don't we, Laura? Because we're going to be doing the first Clean and Tidy book club so what we'd love you all to do is if you want to go and get the book go and get it um some of you i know have already uh, done your pre-order so you'll be getting those at the back end of this week but next week laura's going to be joining us for our first ever book club where we can have a wine or a cup of tea or whatever you know whatever floats your boat um and we can just have a good old chat and laura can tell you a little bit more about the book and 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 how she was inspired and how to use it and things like that so if you're not already sign up to our newsletter because that will be landing on Friday with a link to join but we'll also be sharing it on our um, stories the link that you can join us so I really hope that as many of you can join us next week um, we won't give away too much will we Laura but we'll make sure that we can have a little conversation about those of you who have read certain parts of it I'm certainly going to try and finish it before next week but we'll see how we go um, but no really really excited for that Laura um, but we'd love to know how are you celebrating Thursday and what what things have you got coming up in the next few days and next couple of weeks do you know what i'm not doing like a book launch or anything like that just purely because i i don't i know this sounds ridiculous but i hate being the center of attention like i'm that person that you know when it's your birthday and everyone's singing happy birthday you're just like oh i just want this like i i'm just not i just don't like that um and I was kind of thinking about planning like a party because I would love as many people to come as possible and it just felt too overwhelming so I don't feel like I'm quite ready to do that yet and that's just me being honest with you um maybe one day I might be able to do that but yeah it just felt like it was just too overwhelming so I'm literally just spending it with my family um so yeah we'll probably go out for a long dog walk and go for like tea and cake or something like that but yeah nothing nothing fancy and do you know what penny i know it sounds silly but like when i was kind of thinking right who will i invite i didn't want to leave anyone out and that was really important to me like i have got so many incredible followers and there's so many amazing people in this community that i would want to be there and when you're putting a guest list together, there's only so many people that you can invite. And I just kind of thought, I want to be inclusive and I don't, I don't want to just invite certain people and for other people to think, oh, why has she not invited me? Like, it's so difficult, isn't it? And it was causing me so much yeah. stress. So I thought, you know what, Laura, people will understand, people will support, like you don't have to do a fancy book launch, like just be you and be, be real and, and people will respect that. So hope, hopefully people understand. No, I think that's lovely. I think that's where our values are so well aligned, Laura, uh, which I think is brilliant. That's why on Thursday of next week, 
everybody is welcome and the fact that we're doing it virtually as well hopefully means that a lot of people will be able to to join us in our book club so we can make Laura feel super special <laughs> um, and I've seen that Danny um, has been saying that we'll make you feel extra special at the show which we will do we'll be making sure we'll make everybody feel special at the show but we'll make sure we give you an extra opportunity to really celebrate your your book um, but also another question that we had from Danny was when did you discover that you're a cleaner holic? Do you know what? I think I'm not really a cleanaholic. <laughs> I think it just sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a normal girl that loves cleaning her home. So, you know, I'm not like, you know, sometimes people have to clean. And I know that that's, you know, that's a serious thing, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I just enjoy doing it. I love nothing more than getting my clean on, putting my music on and you know that feeling when you you feel like you've been productive for you know even if it's just for half an hour and you're like ah oh, the kitchen's clean it doesn't last for long it literally lasts for five minutes and then there's stuff everywhere again but you just feel like you've had that like sense of calm and achievement um so yeah i just i suppose i probably enjoy it maybe more than maybe the majority of people do um and hopefully i can kind of help other people to enjoy it as well I love it. I love it. Well, we're going to wrap up there. So we're always keen to keep our um, tea breaks between 15 and 20 minutes. But I just wondered if you've got any final words of advice or perhaps a key bit of information that you found out when you were writing your book or anything you just want to leave everyone with today, Laura? I would say the, the big... Uh, firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone who has already pre-ordered the book. Like the fact that people have done that, just it really, really does mean a lot. Because for me, the fact that I've actually written a book I feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. So the fact that people are now ordering it and it's going to be in their homes is just like, I, I'm just so, so grateful and, and humbled by it. Um, but definitely don't put any pressure on yourself. Like I said before, just make sure that you do what you can when you can and, and try and look after yourself at the same time because that I cannot stress how important that is. I've been through, you know, some really difficult times as so many of us have, and you will get through them and cleaning and doing the laundry and having that positive mindset and that routine every day can really help you through those difficult times. So yeah, I hope, I hope you all enjoy reading my book and cannot wait to chat to you again penny it is always a pleasure thank you so much for all your support not just with the book launch but with my page in general um, and thank you to all, all your lovely clean and tidy home show followers for for supporting me as well it really does mean a lot it's lovely because you give the support right back laura which we absolutely love but no thank you so much for joining us this morning congratulations ahead of thursday we'll be sure to be in your messages and supporting you then um and more information will come about the book club next week um but if anybody's got any questions for me or laura in the meantime please do get in touch um and hope you have a really good rest of the day lots of love take care lots of love take care thanks everyone bye. for joining bye